over the past year or so, there seems to have been quite a few flare-ups between yourselves and, and, and you know, entities like BDS, Cossas, of course there was the Woolworths, Pig's Head incident. Why do you think this is happening, or well, why it's been so bad of late? I mean, I think firstly, just to put it in context, if you were to look at the incidents with regards to the South African Jewish community comparable with communities elsewhere in the world, particularly in Europe, uh, as I've said, we have been uh, uh, very fortunate that the levels of anti-Semitism, the levels of um, uh, accusations against the Jewish community in South Africa, or unjustified accusations, have been extremely low. Um, in answer to your question, there are a number of factors. Uh, I think always we tend to see a spike in anti-Semitic activity when there is uh, trouble in the Middle East. And as, as you're well aware, the, the spark that you're referring to with regards to Kosas and the pig's head, etc., in Woolworths was a directly uh, a response to the Gaza war last year. And so these things tend to, tie, to die down during times of relatively relative calm. Um, but uh, no doubt they will raise their ugly head again should there be a further outbreak of violence in the Middle East. So, um, do you think that uh, it might be sort of mis misguided? Um, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, you, you know, given our our history in South Africa, um, is there a perception perhaps that the Jewish community represent white supremacy, wealth, etc.? I mean, uh, someone like Lumini, why would he affiliate himself to the situation in the Middle East if it doesn't really if he doesn't have an affiliation to it? I mean, in answer, I would say to you, no, there isn't, there isn't, that, there isn't that general perception, but there are, of course, anti-Semitic views which some people have. And one of the tenets, obviously, of anti-Semitism is that Jews are wealthy, Jews control the economy, Jews control the media. And so when you are attacking a, 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 the Jewish community in particular, those anti-Semitic uh, tenets seem to come to the fore. And I think that that is part of what is playing out here. Interestingly, you know, you mentioned BDS. Every single instance of BDS where there has been a demonstration against their so-called Israeli actions has resulted in anti-Semitism towards the Jewish community in South Africa. Mm -hmm. to, to, to put it in context, when there was a, at Bits University uh, a demonstration against uh, an Israeli pianist resulted in chants being shouted by BDS of kill the Jews. Uh, it's it's, it's, a, it's a, a follow on, or I would say to you that the BDS movement as an excuse to for the anti-Semitism uses the Middle East conflict to air their true agenda. Okay. Right, Jeff, so well, final question, what, what is the best way forward then? Well, uh, in terms of uh, Mr. Lamini, we have uh, initiated a criminal complaint. Uh, we have, it's based on the radio interview uh, that he had with Power FM. We expect the South African police will investigate the claims that we have made and then will present its uh, findings to the National Prosecuting Authority. Mm -hmm. The NPA will then take a decision on whether or not to prosecute Mr. Lamini, and if they do take that decision, then we will. Uh, provide uh, evidence in the form of testimony or witnesses to the criminal trial, which will, uh, I suppose, take place in the not too distant future. As regards the Human Rights Commission complaint, we have submitted our complaint. Uh, the process is that Mr. Dlamini gets an opportunity to respond to the complaint, and the Human Rights Commission, as a first step, uh, tries to have a, a conciliation or a reconciliation meeting. We will be more than happy to attend the meeting and to discuss the concerns that we have directly with Mr. Dlamini under the auspices of the Human Rights uh, Commission. Um, to the extent that we can get to a reconciliation, which as I said to you, is mm. a full acknowledgement of the wrong of his statements and an acknowledgement of the hurt that it has caused and, a, and an acceptable apology, that would be the end of the matter in the Human Rights Commission. To the extent that that's not achievable, then we would ask the Human Rights Commission to make a finding. Jeff, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thank you, Nick.